that's the end of the game. Uh, and, and, and that's where, you know, playing with poise under pressure. It's, that's just the nature of the game. And obviously in those current situations, there were a lot of takeaways, uh, things that we can learn from. You know, those, those young guys in those situations, although it stings, it's invaluable because uh, those lessons are, are tough pills to swallow, but it, that's the best, you know, learning tool. Honestly, didn't know. Um, hadn't seen him a ton being out west. He played, you know, played twice uh, those Eastern Conference teams. Um, but I just feel like every every week he gets better. He shows a different dynamic, uh, a different dimension. Uh, so I think um, to, to compare him to somebody is, is probably doing both people an injustice. He, you know, we'll find a way to, to, to give him a chance to have success and be the best version of him. And I think he's shown his ability to change shots, uh, to run the floor, um, be a rim presence. You know, all those things he's, he's shown he's capable of doing. I think he's just scratching the surface on the offensive end. For sure. I mean, he was amazing tonight. And I think, you know, I'm not saying he's going to be that, that guy every night. If he is, that's terrific. But uh, he always plays hard. So that's, that's one constant we can trust. He's always going to guard. Uh, that, that, that makes it easy. So, you know, if he makes shots, he can make plays. Um, that's just icing on the cake. You know, he's going to bring that energy, that defensive focus. Uh, and now he just has to do a better job, play game and probably keeping us organized. But overall, I thought he was terrific. What's probably something he hasn't done a ton of. Um, you know, with, within the confines of what we have, it's kind of equal opportunity. Obviously, Brad and Spencer are going to, you know, command the bulk of that, but all those wings are capable. Um, all of them are capable of being playmakers. So I think it's good for him to push his boundaries a little bit, you know, see what, see what he can do. All right, Coach, we're going to head over to Zoom. Let's start with David Aldridge. Wes, forgive me, um, we did not quite hear the beginning of your uh, remarks tonight. What did you say about Beal? Uh, I just said we don't know the uh, extent. I don't believe it's anything uh, substantial, but uh, we'll wait to see. Uh, you know, he'll get reevaluated probably tomorrow, and we'll go from there. How did you think uh, they they played mainly starters down the stretch? You had Gafford and, and four reserves in there. How did you think the reserves – handled that kind of craziness the last four minutes <laughs> obviously not well <laughs> um, and I, you know th and that's fine because those are those are lessons we can learn from um it's not those just the guys on the floor but us as a group um situational awareness you know um, playing under pressure playing with poise trying to find a way you know when teams amp up the pressure they get into us and they're, they're more physical that that happens so um it, it's good for us in the long run it stinks right now but I think we can learn from it. Chris? Wes, I know you only had one starter in there in that fourth quarter, but you allowed 40 points. And you have talked about what a standard needs to be in place for this team to be successful this year. Is that item on the floor? Is that a cause for concern, allowing 40 in the fourth? Absolutely, uh, regardless of who's on the floor. Um, it, it's just unacceptable. Uh, but you know, I think the thing was, to look at the aggregate and say, well, we played three and a half quarters. You know, sadly, it's it's a forty-eight minute game, so we got to, you know, and and find a way to get a stop, uh, to take care of the ball, to make sure we keep them off the offensive glass. Those two areas really stuck out, stood out stuck out to me, and we paid, we got what we deserved. We didn't take care of those two areas. You uh, the other day said we don't pick the clips, you do, meaning the players of. Uh, do you show do you show this or is it you're on to the twentieth now? No, I think we still show some some of it, and I think those uh, uh, you know, like the technical foul in the fourth quarter can't happen. It was a momentum play, I believe up fourteen. Um, and we go down and miss two free throws, so it, it took on a snowball effect. That goes back to playing uh, playing with poise. Uh, you know, taking a foul in thirty three seconds. All we need is a stop. Now we have a two for one. And those are two that stuck out to me, but 
Uh, those are those are learning lessons. And those are easy ones that we need to clean up. And make sure we we don't repeat it. Thanks. And we'll go over to Chase. Hey Wes, uh, we saw Denny Avdia matched up with Julius Randle for different stretches of this game. How do you think he did defensively against him? Overall, he had good moments, you know, and he's a tough cover. He's one of the best offensive players in the league. His physicality can be a problem. Um, he's able to get to the line, draw fouls, uh, play inside out. So he's a versatile player, um, puts a lot of pressure on an individual defender. I don't think it's fair to say, hey, one guy has to guard him straight up. Uh, it's gotta be a team effort. And Aaron Holiday had another good game. It seems like he, he had a really strong preseason. Um, has that meshed with what you've seen in practice and just kind of what have you seen from him so far as you get ready for game one? No, absolutely. I think it's, uh, it's just a microcosm of what we've seen thus far. Um, and it, his minutes have kind of fluctuated. We've been playing different groups, different combinations. Um, but this, this opportunity was great. He made the best of it. Um, I think it's important for him you know, to be that guy coming off the bench, both him and Howell, to, to pick up, turn guys, get them out of their comfort zone a bit. The second, that second unit has to come, come with a different complexion uh, than the first group. If we're playing the same way, we're probably not, you know, maximizing our potential. And the last question is going to go to Zach. Hey, Coach, uh, I'm just wondering, what did you think about the rebounding throughout this preseason? Overall, not great. You know, it's an area of, uh, of concentration. It's just a mentality. You know, I think, you know, at times it's, we do a lot of ball watching. We're in the right spot. Uh, we don't turn, we don't hit. Um, and, and now we're at the whim of our athleticism. So you just gotta be more of a, a concentrated effort by all five guys on the floor. When that shot goes up, you just turn, hit, find a body. Thanks. Um, uh, you know, they, get they after played it. mainly starters down the stretch. You had Gafford and then forward. Go ahead, Coach. Sorry, muted him. I'm not sure if you got that. <laughs> but I was saying with the rebounding, overall, it's been an issue. Um, but it's just something that uh, it's got to be an area of concentration. You know, we, we did a great job defensively overall. I think it helped hold them to 41% uh, percent from the field, which is terrific. Um, but if we're not finishing possessions and giving them, giving them second chances, um, it, it doesn't mean anything. So we got to clean that up. Thank you. All right, last question to Neil. Hey, Coach. Montrez, you know, previously stated during the preseason that, you know, as much as it's preseason, they want to win. How much do you try and reassure the team after this preseason that, hey, look, we've made progress, we're still going in the right direction, and let's get hit the ground running in regular season? Well, there's a balance. I mean, you know, obviously when you win, it validates what you're doing, what you're teaching, uh, what, what we're putting, you know, in as far as this is important to us. So, you know, it, it helps the validation, but it's not the end of the day. Uh, the most important thing is that we continue to get better. And, and I've seen some of that. So I thought tonight for three and a half quarters, we were terrific. Uh, we obviously didn't finish the game um, and, and we, we lost one that, you know, we easily could have come away, come away with. But overall, I think we've gotten better. So, you know, I think we're in a good We both know how to play the game. Uh, is that simple? I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. We both know how to play. Oh, he had a hell of a game. Yeah, he had about 25. He's out there hooping for us for sure. Um, the whole game, he kept pressure on the on the on their defense, and he did well on on the ball defensively as well. So he had a really good game tonight. They didn't struggle because we played them, and Brad went down, and they won the game. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, guys know how to play. We're in the NBA. Uh, we just get out there and lace them up. I mean, all these guys, I have confidence in all my teammates. They're all great guys and great players. So we just got to get out there and play and just make the best of it. Aaron, let's transition over to Zoom. Let's start with Chris Miller. Hey, Aaron, coach is really stressed defense through camp and through the preseason, but when you give up 40 points in the fourth quarter, I mean, I don't have to tell you that's a lot of points, but what specifically were the Knicks doing uh, to kind of ratchet up their offense and then what they were doing on the defensive end also? 
They just got out in transition a lot more in the fourth quarter, obviously off live ball turnovers, but I think they just really pushed the pace and they got easy looks out of it. And in terms of the defense going into Wednesday's opener, uh, is it a cause for concern or is it just, just let this thing kind of play out because there's still a lot of new people left? No, there's no cause for concern. We'll figure it out. We got, what, a, what is today? We got a little time to fix everything. So we got a good enough amount of space between this game and next game. So we'll go watch video, work on everything, and it will be all right. Thanks, Darren. Appreciate it. Chase? Uh, yeah, Aaron, you had a pretty impressive uh, preseason, had some some good scoring games there. What did you like about your preseason individually, and, and what are you kind of hoping to improve moving forward? Um, just hopefully I can improve just playing the game better, uh, getting my teammates involved, playing defense better, just pretty much my all-around performance. Um, I did all right these few games, but and just staying aggressive the whole game. What do you like about the second unit that it looks like you guys are going to have in terms of uh, the, the weapons and the, the, the balance of that lineup? Uh, we have a very deep team. So our second unit can really get out there and play. Uh, we make shots. We shoot the ball at a high level. We can play defense. Um, so it's just pretty much pick your poison once we get out there. Um, everybody can, well, our first top four can handle the ball coming off the bench. So we just got to get out and run and just try to get guys in transition. And uh, apologies if you've already been asked. It was on mute at the start. But just um, Corey Kispert, the, the, his game-tying three, I think you may have passed the ball into him. What was yeah. your uh, perspective on that play? It's Corey doing what Corey does. I mean, it's a big shot. I'm glad he got it off and, and hit it. Um, but that's just Corey doing what he does. Last question to Neil. Hey, Aaron. I know that you've talked about your comfort level, both playing on and off the ball. I'm curious, just as you've gone through training camp and things like that, where would you say your comfort level is in terms of just Wes Unseld, Coach, Coach Wes Unseld's overall system? Um, the same. I could play on the ball and off the ball. It just depends on what he wants me to do. And how was just subbing in for Brad any different in the second half? It was no different. Uh, this is just basketball at the end of the day. I just got picked up a cheap foul, um, which I got had to sit down for a long time. So that's the only bad part about it, but it, it's just basketball at the end of the day. I mean, I think that was good for us. You know, that that was more like the what happened in the season, you know, games, mostly when you're playing the way, that's what happened. Um, home teams get hot, you know, the, the, the calls kind of, they play more physical than us, and 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 then the ref has got to play with them, you know. So, um, I think uh, I think it was good for us. Of course, we wanted to to get a win before we go, we head into the the the, the regular season. But um, but yeah, you just got to stay focused, stay aggressive, and um, try to execute uh, at the end of the game. I think that's the, that's the most important. And it wasn't that last shot for us. It was what happened before a couple of turnovers and they made a couple of threes that kind of got them going. So I think if we fix that, um, just closing those games, but it's just preseason. I think, yeah, like I said, it was, it was good that that happened for, uh, uh, with us now. So we can, we can work on that and, um, do better in the season. Um, I think just staying aggressive, you know, uh, I think, uh, we're still kind of getting used to play with each other. Uh, the first three games, I was kind of finding my way and uh, maybe not being as aggressive as I have to be and um, skipping some threes and not taking some shots. And tonight, I, I just felt comfortable. I just um, thought about going out there, staying focused, staying aggressive, staying positive no matter what happened. And, and uh, I think individually, I, I did a good job. Um, but like I said, it's just preseason. We got to keep working. We got to keep getting better and, and um, get ready for the season. I think we're still finding our identity. Um, I think uh, we can play faster. You know, we can move the ball. We can like play uh, 
more for each other. Um, I think we still gonna get better. We're still gonna figure things out uh, on the court, you know. Um, but we definitely gotta bring the the intensity uh, coming from the bench, you know, uh, defensively, trying to pressure the ball, trying to uh, rotate and be more aggressive, and um, and play fast. I think that's uh, how our team plays the best, you know. We and like I say, still preseason, we're still finding our way. Seven, eight guys haven't played with each other. Um, so a new team so I think uh, um, we are getting better step by step let's transition over to zoom how we'll, um, we'll start with Chris Miller hey uh, Hall a couple of times last year you had offensive outbursts like the one you had tonight like Tonight, for specifically, when did you know you were kind of in an offensive rhythm? Um, like I just said, I think just being aggressive, uh, taking my shots, trying to find a way, you know, trying to make the right place. Um, tonight was it was going to the basket, uh, taking uh, my shots, driving um, my floaters, and and uh, some games it's gonna. Uh, I think open up for other people too. Uh, but I think it's just being aggressive, staying mentally. Uh, focus in 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 trying to you know create my my own shots. You know, I know in the game in Houston, you know, coach put you and Aaron out there, and throughout the preseason, I think you guys have had some really good success in terms of your chemistry. What's that been like? And and when did you notice in camp that you guys could have a pretty good rhythm out there together? Um, I think we both you know uh, respect each other's space, and sometimes I'll bring the ball up sometimes sometimes he will do it and uh, just playing off each other and you know uh, if he's feeling uh, uh, good and he's getting a, a you know hot um, we'll find him and if it's me we'll find me so I think it's and like last year I was playing uh, uh, all kind of positions on the court and I think I think it's just uh, uh, reading you know reading and trying to find the, the right play. Um, and uh, he's a smart player. He's a smart, he's not selfish. He shares the ball and, and he understands the game. So uh, I think we've had success playing together and we've tried different lineups this uh, preseason, but um, this is up to the coach. You know, I think uh, we're both going to try to do our best. And, and if it's together, I mean, great, you know. Um, but, but yeah, I think uh, playing with another point guard helps with that space and sharing the ball. So, um, so, yeah, we had some success playing together. Uh, Neil. Hey, how old? Can you describe to us the amount of progress you guys have made since, you know, Labor Day time frame when you guys all came in? Obviously, it's new coaching staff, new philosophy. What kind of progress have you made and how close do you think you guys are to really putting it all together? Um, we are a new team. You know, a lot of guys haven't played with each other yet. and. Um, a new system defensively, offensively. So we're, we were figuring it out. I think uh, defensively, we did a way better job today. Um, besides that last quarter, I think we were solid defensively. We were rotating and doing the stuff that we, we, we practice. Uh, offensively, I think we, you know, just stick to the simple, you, you know, just moving the ball, playing basketball, cutting and doing the things that I think uh, it, will, it will give us success in the season. Um, but it's a long season, you know, we've only had four games together. We've been practicing a lot. Um, I think throughout the season, we're going to get better. We're going to uh, figure things out and, and you know, uh, learn how to play with each other and learn uh, positions and defensively how to help each other. And, and I think uh, I think it's going to be a good season for us. And Coach Unfield has talked about, you know, you guys do the defensive drills. In the drills, you guys look pretty good. But then, you know, translating to five on five, what is the difference between drills and five on five? I mean, you're playing the game and in practice, you're not. In practice, most of the drills, you're just, you know, you know what the offense is going to do. In the game, you got to read it. Sometimes they're not going to just stop uh, – stay on the corner or stay in the in a, in a elbow. You know, they're going to cut. They're going to read the defense. They're going to try to score. Uh, drills are to totally different. Um, but like I say, I think the game today, we were able to, you know, do those things that we practiced and uh, our defense was looking a lot better.